In the previous video, we learned how to make use of environment variables in SvelteKit. They are great when working with multiple environments and the value changes across environments. Sometimes though, you might come across a situation where you have a secret that should be consumed in the application, but it shouldn't be shipped to the browser. Also, the value will not change across environments. To accommodate this scenario, SvelteKit provides a very simple solution and that is server-only modules. In SvelteKit, you can write server-only modules which prevent code from being accidentally imported in client-side code. Let me help you understand with an example. In the source folder, I'm going to create the lib folder. Within the folder, create another folder called server. And this is SvelteKit's convention, so the name cannot be different. Within this folder, I'm going to create a secrets.js file. From within the file, I'm going to export a variable. Export const secret key is equal to secret key. If you now try import this into contact page.js file, which if you remember is shipped to the client, save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see we have an error. Cannot import server secrets.js into client side code. If you move this import to page.server.js in the news folder, log the value, head back to the browser, and navigate to slash news, we can see the value logged in the terminal. So the value can only be used server side and not in client side code. Apart from lib slash server, there is one other convention you can follow. And that is to name a file with .server.js extension. So within the source folder, you could create secrets.server.js and it would behave the same way. Server-only modules prevent you or anyone in the team from accidentally importing sensitive data into your front-end code and are very useful when writing production applications. Just be careful since the value is committed to the repository. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.